for me this pregnancy getting here is We heard that unfortunately, you know, you suffered a miscarriage uh, later last, or late last year. How was that experience? It was bad. Yeah. It was yeah. bad. It is, it was bad. Mm. It is, it was life shaking. It was really bad. Let me just, let me. Size 8 revealed that she has cried a lot and asked God several questions why this happened to her. It has been a difficult time for the power couple and below is Size 8's emotional narration. Go through. God is the giver of life and God is perfect. No man is he alone knows what is best for us. And of course, uh, something that I that might be so emotional for you, Demo, uh, so you came out to say that she, you guys lost a baby. How was that for you? Uh, it's just it's, it's a sad moment, but again, uh, for us civil people, we usually say everything has a reason, yeah. and we don't blame God. So there's always a reason for everything. So just a low mo it was a, a low moment for us, but again, we don't blame God. Yeah. Don't take baby showers for granted. Don't take your children for granted. Don't take for granted. I'm sorry. Baby, I should make you laugh like nobody. Oh, Don't take it for granted. I've realized we take a lot for granted. Baby, why are we going to do a while? I'm trying to get this. But. Learn to appreciate everything. Learn life. Learn to appreciate your spouse, Learn to appreciate your children. Because for me, this pregnancy, maybe I'll let you to know so that you understand why for me, even getting here is a, is a miracle. I've almost died several times because they are in the It doesn't matter even if you have 10 million or 1 million. You don't have life. You can't enjoy. You can't enjoy what you have. I'm not Gospel singer and preacher Lynette Monnelly aka Size 8 might be expecting her second child as seen in her latest photo. I won't lie, I panicked a lot and I told my husband, I don't want to talk about it. It was joyful at the same time I feel this one also made it. So, to see, to go on a doctor, I was given some precautions, blah blah blah, so checkups, nini madawa, nini, and then Dr. Thuo advised us that I should just take it slow. But three weeks after that, Nikapata a very major heart, um, heart, uh, heart attack, okay, seen a heart attack, like pressure attack. It was really a moment for me because I was like, what will we do? We need to find out after all this time. And f after a few weeks, the pressure maintained a bit. I started feeling some pains in my uterus, uh, some funny pains in specific areas in my uterus. So I went to hospital. I, I, I thought, guy, when me born in a talker, so I went to hospital. They did a scan, then they found fibroids. I was so devastated. I was like, ah, sasa to talk a pressure, sasa to napata fibroid. God, but he encouraged me. He told me, uh, Doctor Tuo told me, Lynette, see you me kwana zi fibroids na mtu tamefika this much. So don't worry. Right now, the only thing it can cause is a bit of contractions and the pain you're feeling, but it's past a point in your reservoir to it. Then all of a sudden, pressures became unbearable, the blood pressure. Naskia dizziness, naskia headache. 
the another time nina kumbuka nilikuwa na feeling kama mpaka sina hewa hapa like i didn't like oxygen was not going into my brain so, eh napata mpaka convulsions me call them twitching but the doctor called them convulsions nataka kufanya at some point na ni nikata kupata minor strokes where the left side is completely paralyzed I remember Nikira Shoko MRI scan and all those things and they were f- trying to find if kama kutakuwa na issue kama kubikuwa na any organ damage and so yeah then now they changed my medication I was rushed to see a heart physician I was checked in San Juan and Jose like after every so a few days after a few days I'm in hospital after a few days I'm in hospital so me ime imekuwa imekuwa ni journey on my end been there with her and especially I even remember when we went for the scan uh, when we came to the hospital uh, you know kuja kwa dimitiwa checking at the heart rate ya mtu hii you know it was so high you know uh, net was in feeling well also pressure trying whatever making decision uh, you know finally i got a, a clean a clean bit of of health uh from my doctor and that's when i posted like a video on instagram talking dance because at least niliambiwa hapo pressure ni kama ime ime imeanza kusettle kidogo so last week yes last week is when the twitching became excessive i told my doctor also mtoto wangu hachezi and then they finally decided for me to go to be admitted so i came here at uh, rfh as an emergency and um, i came here i couldn't breathe i couldn't walk i was completely off so i was rushed uh, up for checkup and the first thing they did they of course they checked my pressure then they went to check the baby's the fetus heart rate and they put me on oxygen they gave me some other oxygen mag what to help with the neurons because they were saying my neurons are the ones that are dysfunctional that's why those convulsions are being seen and then i felt better kwanza atukulala na we go to room the whole night we're just waiting because we kept on monitoring hour after hour hour after hour. same sangapi sanane sanane nenda nusu sanane nusu atona chase but going now then monitor you have to be gentle mambo kitu na usikunywe kitu from saa sita sto lembo sikule kitu na sikunya kitu kuna 15 sana na 15 kwa hii nyumba na fikira mimi ndio mgonjwa hii ni yangu hii ni yangu ya mambo ya sikunya kitu Then at around saa 7 ya usiku I mean saa 8 ya usiku can't remember what time exactly or is it 3 o'clock the fetus rate went higher again it kind of passed 170 so um, there was an emergency the room finding ways of making sure the fetal rate goes low and all those things and then we got through the night the next day Dr. Thu came and his wife Martha they were trying to buy more time because you see The last scan I did was saying 34 weeks 4 days. So they are trying to see if they can still buy more time. So when they tested the heart rate it went above 180. Yam to so akuna venye wange buy more time. And that's what it was decided that we have to go to the theater cuz I was already I was already here at RFH so they just decided ni ni kwe sasa ni ni kwe ready for CS so they didn't get no option in the solar material for the the I'm going to 
kitaji na msani mtu wa kuna wakufu mtu watu na ushtu mkwa na mwaka mtu mbae konsani mbuku 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 I hope to cooperate with the right thing. I hope to cooperate with the right thing. I hope to cooperate with the right thing. Thank you. 